Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to help you with the hardest part of starting a successful dropshipping business, which is of course product selection. When you look at any successful dropshipping business, there's typically four components, four elements that go into the recipe that together adds up to a successful dropshipping business. You have the product, you have the store, you have the supplier, and of course you have the method of traffic, typically some form of paid marketing a way of getting people onto your Shopify store. The latter three are generally speaking the easier of the three. The hardest thing by far you will encounter is finding that initial product that gets you that success. Once you have a product that gets some form of traction, scaling it from there is relatively easy until you get to the big, very big numbers and that brings with itself a whole bunch of other issues. However, Let's just start with 10k a month and let's start with some products that can help you get there. When you are looking for products for your dropshipping business, there's two types of products I recommend going for. The number one, the first one is already a proven concept, a proven product that you can find has evidence, non-disputable evidence that there's other dropshipping businesses selling that product and selling that product successfully. And in this video, I'm going to show you two great examples of these types of products. The, I would recommend if you are a beginner and you're yet to find that first initial winner and you're relatively new to all to this to stick to these kind of products because when you find a product that is selling really well for somebody else, you get to see their entire setup. You can see the products, of course, you can see the creative, the means they're using to drive traffic to their store and of course you can see their store too. So you get to see essentially what a successful business looks like for that specific product and with that comes a bunch of advantages because you can replicate your business you can take parts from it to implement into your own to help jumpstart your own dropshipping business. The second type of product is what I would recommend for somebody who already has a bit of experience or a bit of knowledge when it comes to marketing, when it comes to product selection, when it comes to a particular industry or niche, which is to find a variation of an already proven successful product. These are the products that tend to have the most potential because they'll be products that nobody else has discovered yet, nobody else has advertised yet. And if you are one of the very first people to come across a product that's going to be a winner then you get in essentially at the beginning because obviously when you come across these products that are already doing well the chances are other people have seen them before and will be competing against you but with these second types of products nobody else will be so when somebody sees it it'll be the very first time they've seen that product and it's much more likely to gather attention get clicks and get purchases um, and so on and so forth. A great example of a company that did this and scaled their store to multiple seven figures is acemend.com. They took that original kind of plastic, blue plasticky back stretcher and they found a foam version of it. They were one of the very first, if not the first company to sell a variation of an already proven past seven figure back stretcher and they scaled it to huge, huge numbers. With that being said, let's jump into today's video. Um, and the very first product, which is this one here by a company called Winter Cocoon. Basically what this product is, is it's a fan that is powered by the heat of what we would call a wood burner here in the UK. And I believe it's been successful for many, many reasons. So number one is targeted. Generally speaking towards an older audience, I would say younger people tend to live in newer houses and newer houses don't tend to have these wood burners or stoves, depending on what, you're, what you want to call them. It tends to be at least people of my parents' generation that have these wood burners and therefore would have a requirement for products like this. It also fits perfectly with the ideal kind of market on Facebook too, which typically is an older generation that tend to buy things from the ads. The second thing as well is it helps with the current energy crisis. People who are using these wood burners, it's a way of maximizing the heat and the efficiency you get out of them by pushing the heat through the room rather than it just going straight up and into the ceiling and escaping. But with one of these things that's powered by the heat, it pushes and I think we have a nice illustration somewhere at the beginning and it shows if I can... Um, when this starts, I can pause it. If we go back into this, we can see having one of these fans on top pushes the heat into the room, whereas without one of these, obviously hot air rises, it just goes straight up so you don't get the maximum benefit. What is really awesome about this product as well, as we found it on AliExpress, is that the profit margins are just crazy, crazy, crazy good. So how do I know this product is winning and working and why should you sell it? So the first thing I noticed was it's a product started in 2021 and it's still going today, which is a great sign. 
Um, it also has 10,000 likes, nearly 7.4 thousand comments. That is a ton of comments, nearly 2,000 shares. I'm having a look at the newest comments. We can see three hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, five hours. That one from two years ago probably has a recent reply. The recent reply is from six hours ago, which is why this comment is up here at the top. And it's actually somebody saying that somebody has two of them and they're really, really good. Hours lasted three years. She dead now. Eight hours, 12 hours, 13 hours, 16 hours. One day, 17 hours, where can I buy this? So lots and lots of comments all from the last 24 hours, which shows it still is relevant and working today. What I'm gonna try and scroll down and try and find somebody who's actually bought one of these things because it's one thing to engage with a post, but then it's another thing to actually action it and buy it. So we're looking for people that have said they bought it, received it, and they're happy with it. So Tracy here, so best thing ever. Um, Phil, we have two and keep repair kits on hand. We've got one and it works great. Um, I bought one the other day for my parents. We got one last year, definitely worth it. So we can see that not only are people buying this, um, when they have bought it and they've received it, they're actually happy with it as well, which is of course super, super important if you were in this for the long run and you're looking to build a legitimate and sustainable business. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then, the landing page they're driving this traffic through to, um, and take a look at the strategy they're using. So it's a very similar strategy actually that I use in my own stores and with the clients I work with which is giving the consumer, the customer, all of the information they need up front, right there at the top of the page. Save up to 30% on fuel, warm your room faster, children and pets safe, safe self-powered, silent, 30 day money back guarantee, and receive in two to five days. All of the information they need, coupled with the ad creative that they've just watched, is there. They don't need to go scrolling through product descriptions, they might look at reviews. I really like this app that they're using as well where they've actually replied to some of the reviews. Um, I think that's really good because it just separates them apart from the typical kind of looks reviews that every other drop shipping store is using. So all of the information the consumer needs to know in order for them to be happy about making a purchase is right there and then on the screen. So they can consume it, they can see it, they can go right ahead and click the add to cart. Think about it, you wouldn't buy something unless you had the answers to certain questions. So put yourself in the consumer's mind and think about the sort of things when you go into Amazon, the sort of things you want to know before you commit to buying a product. Are people happy with it? The kind of like obvious stuff like how much it is. You want to know when you're going to receive it. You want to know if you can return it. Um, if you're not happy with it and obviously you want to know what the product actually does. All of the information is right there and then. Um, in easy to consume bullet point format. So it is a four blade fan. Now, if I'm not missing something, somebody please <laughs> correct me because I'm not clued up on these sorts of things. Is this not the exact same product here for about $20 and they're selling it for $130? Four blade heat powered stove fan. You don't plug it in, it's silent. It even comes with like a free thermometer and when you come down here, they've got that same magnetic stove thermometer, which they're adding as a bundle to bump up that average order value even further. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but is that not the same product? And the margin there is like over $100. That gives you so much flexibility when it comes to scaling because it can allow you to, to pay as much as up to like 70, 80, $90 per purchase, which is an awesome budget to be able to work with. Before we go any further, I want to make you aware of my mentorship program that's currently open and available and taking on new clients. In summary, it's a one-to-one -one monthly mentorship, um, 30 days rolling, no long-term commitments, no hidden fees, nothing like that. 30 days mean you can work together, taking your business from where it is now, taking it to the next level, no matter what your current level of experience is. Um, if you're interested in working together with me, then what you need to do is below this video in the video description is click this mentorship link. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. It's a series of five or six questions, super, super quick and easy to fill out. It's an opportunity for me to get to know you before we jump on a call together. Um, I can see what your current level of experience is now, where you want to be in two or three um, months time and what your goals are. If they're realistic and I can help you achieve them, it will take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date for us to jump on a Google Meet together and have a chat in more detail. If that sounds good to you, head over there now and get booked in and I'll see you on the call. Cheers. Okay, so back into the video, back to product number two. This is a product from a company that's been around for quite some time and time and time again through developing their product, through new ad creatives, they 
are able to sell the same product profitably. A couple of things to point out here which are worth noting, some strategies. Number one, the product is branded. Super, super important because it helps set them apart from any other pop-up dropshipper. Point number two is they address all of the potential concerns, is that the way to put it, or issues or hesitations from a consumer in the ad creative. There's a brilliant book called, oh, is it 100? I think it's his first one, Alex Hormozzi, $100 million offers. And brilliant book if you haven't read it already. And there was one bit in it particular that stood out to me, um, which applies quite a lot as well to the dropshipping space, was that it's better to address the elephants in the room and knock them down. He says it in a, a lot better way. <laughs> but basically what he says is that it's much better to address any elephants in the room and put them to bed or dismantle them or I'm using the wrong words here, but basically just address them and knock them down so the consumer can feel more comfortable when making a purchase. The number one hesitation or hurdle to overcome as a brand new business, advertising on social media that nobody knows about, nobody knows you or your business, um, is whether you're gonna be legitimate or not. And Glowrite do a brilliant, brilliant job of this. So they use in quotations here, usually ignore new gadgets, but these lights won me over. So everybody pretty much has the same um, frame of mind, don't they? They usually see something and think, ah, oh, it doesn't really do that, it's too good to be true. I'm just gonna keep trying on. Skeptical of online buys, but seriously, this is a brilliant fix for challenging light areas. So skeptical of online buys. Everybody is skeptical nowadays when buying online, especially from a business they've never heard of before especially a business that's just popped up on their Facebook newsfeed and interrupted their day. So by having that, it kind of helps them relate to how the consumer may be feeling. And again, it just kind of puts it to ease, puts it to rest, puts it to bed, because it's like, so oh, somebody else was skeptical about this, but actually they had quite a pleasant experience. So maybe I'll continue watching this video and actually check the product out. They also have the social proof here of join the 300,000 plus who discover the joy of easy smart lighting. With Glow Right. So, what is the product? It's a pretty cool product. We actually have this product in our own home, um, not from this company, but uh, I can't remember where we got it from. I'm not sure, but it's a very similar product. And basically, you have these three um, magnetic strips, which you'll see in a second. And you click the strips wherever you want them, obviously, and the lights just attach magnetically. So, you can move and take the lights with you. So, for example, if you get up in the night and you need a torch, you can just use the strip. Super, super cool and convenient product. Three different color lights. As you can see, the versatility of them, they click together, they're USB-C, rechargeable, um, all in all an awesome product. Um, and again, it targets that ideal kind of target market on Facebook. And what's also really, really good about them as well is that with them being a lighting product, there's that clear kind of aesthetic and that gets eyeballs on. People like to watch and see things that are visually pleasing and lights, of course, by nature, do that. Let's jump down into the comments and see what people are saying about this. So two hours, four hours, five hours, 12 hours, 22 hours, two days, two days, two days. Again, lots and lots of comments all from recent times, which shows it's still active and working. However, we're looking for something a bit stronger than that, a bit more intense. Ordered three to see how they do, just got them yesterday. So need to place them, but they seem pretty great. Pairing is easy. Um, hand sweep sensor works really good. These are cool, I set them up in my RV. I love these, my kitchen has two outlets. Keeps scrolling down, oh, and from one week ago, just got them yesterday, they seem great so far. And then one more from Fiona, these lights are absolutely fantastic. I've got a few in different places around the house and I absolutely love them. That's the other thing with this product as well. Nobody's gonna be buying one of these things out there. You probably want two, three, maybe even half a dozen of these things to kit your kitchen out, to kit your wardrobe out, whatever it may be. So there's a super, super good opportunity there for bundle offers and upsells. People and good customer retention as well. People coming back and buying even more of these things, which means good profit margins, but just make sure you have some form of a split payment provider in there to help and encourage people pay um, or commit to larger orders. Let's jump onto the website then. I'm gonna suggest everybody go and check their site out, even if you're not interested in this product, but just looking at the way it's put together, the design, the imagery they use, the icons, the logos, the color combinations, the contrast in the original imagery. It's just such a nicely put together website and it's just hand and mouth, hand and foot above a traditional dropshipping store. And that is what it's all about. It's all about doing things better than the next person. 
So if you want to buy one of these lights, it's going to cost you £24 and 34 pence. Just going back to that split payment provider, we can see they have Afterpay installed. So it just goes to show how important that is, especially when you get up to say like a nine light pack, asking people to pay £175 makes it a lot more affordable for people if they can split that over four months. So one light is going to cost you £24 and 34 pence. I wasn't able to find a like for like identical product. However, in terms of design, in terms of features, this one is identical. I'll just play the video for you. But the one difference is, uh, that's annoying, is this one has a sensor on the end of it, whereas the, other, whereas the glow right one doesn't. But in terms of the actual functions of it, exactly the same. So the three different colors, it's dimmable, the magnetic 3M strips. Like I said, you can take it with you, you can make it brighter, less bright. And I think it shows in a second that it is USB-C rechargeable as well. There we go, or just, I think there's both. I think there was two different charging slots there, but either way, it's rechargeable. So one of these, it's gonna cost you four or five pounds delivered. These guys are selling it for 25 pounds. You could probably start at about 15, 20 pounds and bank on the fact most people are probably gonna go for this three or six pack, which allows you to kind of come back, come down a little bit on that individual unit price. Either way, a great product, especially for the beginner in my opinion, the profit margins are there, and it also gives you the flexibility to scale into other things. And so with that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in the mentorship, just a polite reminder to head over there now, fill in that series of questions so I can get to know you, and then I look forward to speaking with you on the call. Cheers.